Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft character render in the Blender 3D modeling software. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go down to image and hit replace image and you want to replace it with your Minecraft character skin. So, in this case, mine's right here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to left, right, right click on the bones, go down to uh, where it says object mode, hit pose. From here, you click on the bone you want to pose, and you hit R. You can rotate it by hitting R once, or you can hit R twice and like turn it like this. So I'm going to do one of these. There we go. Now, hold down your little scroll wheel, and that's how you turn it. Then click the other bone you want to pose. I'm just going to pose the arm right here. Now I'll do the legs. There we go. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you want to add an item from the items file that I'm going to have in the download link, I also have the player rig in the download link, you go to File, Append. Click the item rig, go to objects, and then you just click the item that you want. In this case, I'm probably going to do, I'll do redstone. Okay, so now, you have redstone. I'm going to go to a top view. I'll drag this over here right in front of them, right there. Oh, I need to bring that down front view. Drag that down right there. Right there. Now I'll go back to pose mode. Hit R twice and try and bring his hand over towards the redstone. Do the same with this side. Now what you want to do back the redstone up, kind of place it in his hands, I'm going to have to rotate it a little, there we go, back it up a little more, there we go, now I'm just going to rotate it so it doesn't look like, I don't know, I just think it looks better if it's rotated, so. There we go, and if you want to see a rendered version before you do the final render, click this little circle thing and click rendered, and it will show you. Okay, so, if you want a transparent background, I'll show you how to do that right now. You go to the little camera right there, then shading. Uh, under alpha, you go to transparent. Now down here, you want to click RGBA. And also, to make the image a higher quality, I like to do anti-annihilizing at 16. Okay, now, you're um, pretty much ready to export the image. So I will do that. Okay guys, before you um, export the image, you want to go up here to render then render image. This might take a little longer to pin- oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, it's, it's fine. It was just zoomed in a little too close. Okay, so, this might take a little longer for you depending on how nice your computer is or just like the quality of it. But uh, once that's done, you want to go down here to image, then save as image. Then up here, 
you make sure it's a PNG or else the transparent background will not work. But just name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Redstone Guy. Okay, now you want to hit over here, save as image. And there you have it guys, hopefully you made one. Um, if you didn't, if you have any questions, just comment below and you can ask me. And I'll try and get back to you. So, there you have it. If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy my other videos. And I will see you guys later.